Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your battery report is not working and it fails with the unexpected error code 0x422, 0xb7, or 0x10d2 on your Windows 10 computer. So, might come across something that says unable to perform operation. An unexpected error has occurred. The service cannot be started either because it is disabled or because it has no enabled devices associated with it. it. Might also say that the library, drive, or media pool is empty. And it also might say cannot create a file when the file already exists. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, what we're going to do is open up the start menu. Type in services, best match, should come back with services here. Go ahead and open that up. We want to first locate the power service and double click on it. Make sure start type is set to automatic and service status is running. If not, select start. And if start type is not automatic, switch it to automatic and then select apply and OK. And you also want to go and locate the diagnostic policy service. So you're going to have to go up again and double click on it. Startup type again so that the automatic and service status should be running. Close out of here. You also want to open up the start menu. Type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to expand the battery section. And for every battery listed under here, you want to right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If there's a specific one for the manufacturer I recommend selecting it otherwise select the generic one and then select next. Select close and do that for any battery devices that appear under there and then once that's done you can close out of here. You can do a couple of commands as well so open up the start menu type in CMD best result should say command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of the video. The first one's going to be the system file checker utility. So just type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take some time to run so please be patient.
Okay, so once that first command's done, we're going to go copy the second command from the description of my video and just again highlight over it. It's a DISM command. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select add it, and then select paste to paste it in. This will take a couple minutes to run as well, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done here, go ahead and restart your computer. And there you go guys, simple as that, and hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.